club with five striped tents. No, no, Beth, Esther, wait a second. This is January. We're not so talking what? June. It doesn't you matter. You can hire a sleigh. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, darling, darling, night, darling, dear. why yes. don't we have the reception here at home? That's impossible, Daddy. You couldn't squeeze 500 people into this house, and you know it. Oh, of course we can squeeze 500. All we have to do is open the whole ground floor. But I... Now, wait just no, a minute. All you need is good food and a hot band. You shut up, Nola. Vanessa. It is not going to be a hot band. We're going to have a nice orchestra. Oh, Darla, look, look. If we got to put up with all, all this... I, a large wedding is out. Forget it. No, no, no. Hold everything, Mr. Lutz. Your bride has already decided on the guest list of 500. Cheer up, Billy. You're only the groom. I propose a Roaring Twenties theme oh. with beaded oh. dresses and white... Uh, <laughs> no, 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 I got it, I got it. How, and how about a 50s pearls. motif with little poodle skirts and, and white socks? Oh, and no, what about the Depression? You could do stuff. Everybody, okay, listen well, okay. to me. Well, listen, when, when, when I had my last wedding, we just did a little simpler thing. We dug a pit in the backyard and we barbecued ourselves an ox. Oh, my God. So vulgar. Oh, now, darling child, come here and tell me what is it you want? Daddy, I just want a simple wedding with a nice little sit-down dinner for 500 people. Is that too much to ask? Oh. <sighs> Vanessa, oh, oh darling. Okay, everybody, that's it. The discussion is over. But we haven't achieved anything yet, Mr. You Lewis. You said it. Mr. Hightower, I haven't even made a note of the date. Look, they haven't set a date. The Courtney. next person that talks about date or wedding is taking their life in their hands. Have I made myself clear? This is not my way of operating. Tina, isn't that too bad? Come, Cordelia, I think it's time for us to leave. Yes. Miss Chamberlain, I so enjoyed our first strategic session. I'll show them out. Come, no, yeah. I think we'd better look we'll, at and say yeah, something. Yeah, we'll go. Well, children, I'm going to finish this. Great, yeah. Does he think you're having quince? Quince? Hey, William. Boy, this party is really what I needed tonight. Yes, yeah. it was a great excuse to get away from the house. And Vanessa. Oh, oh. You've been causing trouble again? She's causing everybody trouble. I was just telling Tony, the holidays make some people crazy. No, 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 it's not the holidays. It's her wedding. First it's the caterer, then it's the designer. And then the florist, the organist. What are the hairstyles the serving girls are wearing? And then they're gonna, she's going to worry about everybody's pedicures and their manicures. <laughs> yes, and, and would the menu please the Queen Mother? And for the plate, please the Emperor of China. I tell you, you think it was the event of the century. Oh, no, no. The Reardon Sims wedding is going to be the event of the century. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. boy. I've been lax. You've been lax, huh? Yes. Yes, I haven't driven anyone crazy with my wedding plans yet. Well, drive away, love. As long as I get to wear my layered look down the aisle, I'll be very happy. But, honey, you know I have you in a red velour touch with a blue ruffled shirt. You know that. Oh. I want a divorce. Okay. I want to get... So where were you the other day that I called? I thought you maybe want to do some Christmas shopping. Oh, no, I've had so much to do to get this tea dance organized. I wanted to be just as nice as Bert would have been. Oh, where is Bert? Sister-in-law Maida had a relapse, so she wanted to take care of her. Oh, it's a shame she couldn't be here. Yeah. Well, I know she'd be real proud of the job that you did. Thank you. Here. Let me get these for you, oh, ladies. Thanks. Thank you, there sir. You there you go. There you go. Party. Yes, I know. It's amazing. No matter how many people are on the floor, I always feel I'm alone when I'm in your arms. But we're not alone. Yes, I know. We have a little stranger here with us. <laughs> I wonder what could be keeping our guest of honor. Yes? I'd like to speak with you for a moment, if I may. All right. Excuse me. Be right back. I'm sorry. Do we know each other? No. But if I have my way, we shall become much better acquainted before long. My name is Dr. Sue Han Lee. And I have a proposition to make you. Dr. Han Lee, I'd like you to meet my beautiful wife, Nola. And this is her <laughs> sister, Maureen, and her husband, my brother-in-law, Ed Bauer. Oh, How are you? How do you do? This is Dr. Sue Han Lee. 
Are you the Dr. Suhan Lee, who's head of the anthropology department at the university? Yes. Yes, she is. As a matter of fact, she just offered me a position there. Oh. I'm very flattered by your offer, Dr. Hanley, but I'll have to discuss it with Nola first. Well, please, take your time. Well, I think Quinn would make a wonderful teacher. I really do. Thank you. <laughs> what would his hours be? I mean, excuse me, five days the chamber? Chamber? Yes, that's right. Max, I have a package for you. Package for me? From whom? Beats me. I need your signature there, though. Yes, of course. Well, I wonder what it is. Well, I James. suppose I should. No, wait, uh, here you go. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, oh, here. I've got something here. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, let's oh, let's see open what this it. Is. Oh, it's a necklace. Yes, it seems South America, I believe. Quite remarkable. May I see it? Certainly, certainly. Go ahead. at least 500 years old. Oh. oh, read the note. What's in the note? Um, what do you make of this artifact? Examine it carefully. I look forward to hearing your conclusions. Well, who's it from? I don't know. There's no name on it. 